Well, hey there, folks. We ordered another set of these 6,000 Kelvin LED lights for the Ford Escape. These are going to be for the driving lights. I already did the headlights. These will be for the driving lights. One thing I wanted to mention and show is that when I installed the headlights, they work great. They light up the road. Everything's great about them, except for the one thing that sometimes happens when you introduce LEDs to a vehicle. And that is, um, I had a lot more interference with the stereo, even the factory AM FM stereo. Um, you know, it's not going to affect it if you have a USB drive in there or you're listening on your phone or your iPod or Bluetooth. But if you're listening to over there, AM or FM, um, it does uh, definitely disturb the broadcast, I'd say, by about 50%. If, if you're in like if you're in a city and you have a real strong broadcast you're probably okay but where I am I'm like 35 miles away from the broadcast station with some mountains in between and it was just a deal killer with these LEDs so I put some ferrite chokes on them and I'm going to show you on these here so these are the lights for the driving lights or fog lights you know on the bottom of the bumper I have not installed them yet but I did already put two ferrite chokes on each one before I go ahead and install them. So I just wanted to show this in case anyone is having this issue. These are just clip-on chokes. Since, you know, it has a wiring harness, you can't slide one over it. So these open up, they clip on, they clip shut, and they definitely work because I did put some on the headlights. And while it didn't fix the interference 100%, I'd say it made it about... 80% better where it's definitely I can listen to it now so I did that to both of them I decided to put two chokes on these um, LEDs for the uh, driving lights I only put one on the headlights I'm going to install an extra one tonight and just in case you're not familiar with these here's another one it's it's a larger one but I'll show you how they work might be kind of tricky with one one hand but basically these two tabs, you just pop them open with a little screwdriver. Hold on and I'll show you. So here you go. They just open up like a clamshell. You have a piece of ferrite on each side. So you'll go ahead and you want to, you know, appropriately size it for your wiring. Now let's say this wiring here was like a foot long. I could actually wrap it through here two or three times, you know, put wraps on it because it's big enough. But these ones are the perfect size. So this one here, you know, would be more suited to like a, you know, a larger wire. It's not too big. Maybe like, you know, a, a power wire coming out of your wall, 110 volt, you could probably get two wraps through it, something like that. Like I said, if these were longer, I could probably wrap it three or four times. And the more you wrap them, the more of that uh, radio interference you're gonna get out of them. But two of these should be sufficient. So I just wanna show that, that's a little tip. And also you guys into CB radios, if you have any interference from the uh, ignition or anything else in your vehicle, if it's coming through the 12 volt side, not, not through the antenna, but if it's coming through the 12 volt side of things, you can wrap your 12 volt wiring with these. You want to get a larger one and get a few wraps through there. Um, once again, if you've got LEDs and you've got a CB radio, these are a killer on CBs at nighttime. Wrap them up. You want to get it as close to the item as possible. That way it, it knocks it out right there. Um, I know it kind of seems like voodoo, but they really do work. Um, I, I knew about these, but 350 Radio, he, he really kind of nudged me to get these, and these ones here in particular. And uh, they definitely do work. All right, folks, thanks for watching, and hope this can um, fix any problems for you guys that are having radio interference. Not only in a vehicle, but also in your house. You know, if you've got a noisy power supply, like a switching power supply, put this on the uh, on the DC coming out, going to your, you know, whatever you're running, CB radio amplifier, whatever it is. Wrap them up with these things. They come in all different sizes. You can get them on eBay, Amazon, or wherever. Um, they do have different ferrite mix. I forgot what these ones are. You have to look it up, though. They have different... Um, properties for different types of interference. All right, folks, take care.